Can I find a job after completing CS50? Let's find out. All right, so I think this is one of the most popular questions I've been getting in the past week. And the answer may not seem obvious to most people. I would say most people say that you cannot get a job after finishing CS50. And I would also say that a lot of these people are just repeating what they heard from someone else. So that someone else told them, no, you can't get a job with the, just from CS50. They're just gonna repeat that, say to the next person, Sorry, bro, you cannot get a job with CS50. Now, I need to tell you guys that you, if you want to get a job right after CS50, you have to think creatively. You cannot sit around and listen to what other people are telling you you cannot do. You know who could tell you what you can't do? It should be the HR lady telling you, sorry, we can't hire you. That should be the person telling you not to apply. Not these random people online. Don't listen to them, seriously. The CS50 course is Harvard's Introduction to Computer Science. It goes for around 10, 11 weeks, and throughout the entire course, David Malin, the course's instructor, takes you from zero to hero. I mean, they teach you everything from like the foundations of how a computer works, all the way up to building your own full stack application, which you will get to turn that in as your final project. And when you finish the whole course, they give you a really nice certificate that says Harvard on it. What better than that? So when I was taking the course, for the first four or five weeks, I was feeling very, very lost. I was having a hard time completing the assignments. I was having a hard time understanding the lectures. Some of the lectures, I even had to watch them three times. I mean, if each lecture is an hour and a half, two hours, do the math how long I was spending just on the lecture before even getting to the homework. But something happened, something just like clicked at around week five. In my mind, something happened that I all of a sudden I started feeling like, wow, I'm really getting this. I'm really understanding this. I'm really feeling like I'm a computer scientist all of a sudden. I went from nothing to actually know what the heck they're talking about over here in only a couple of weeks. Uh, this is amazing. I, 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 I couldn't believe it, right? I couldn't believe it. And right around that time, I just got filled with confidence. And I thought to myself, you know what? Maybe I could already start applying for jobs. And so that's what I did. I went to my favorite text editor, Google Word, right? And I just made myself a little CV, you know, explaining a little bit of my background and that I'm, you know, the experience, work experience that I have, managing projects, delivering deliverables to customers. I'm a people person. I can work on a team, et cetera. I just filling that in as my previous work experience, trying to obviously not sound like I'm a business owner that is trying to get a job, but more like sounding like I was an employee at the previous company that I also happened to own, right? So w without being so straightforward about that. So I would kind of just fluffed up a CV on the spot. And for education, I typed in CS50 and I looked at the syllabus and every week has a title, right? Obviously, so what I did is I copy pasted every single of those titles into like one line of my CV, like saying, you know, this is the course that I took and these are the skills that I gained. I put that for skills. Obviously, I didn't put in Scratch because I don't think any company is hiring any developers for Scratch unless you're going to work at Scratch itself. But I think that's a little bit beyond the, the scope of this video. So anyways, I had the CV fluffed it up as much as I could and I just went on LinkedIn, Glassdoor, Indeed. Uh, Facebook, uh, some local job boards for, from the high-tech community here in my in my area. And I just sent probably around 100, 150 CVs. And hold and behold, all of a sudden I start getting replies back. We like what we see here. Can you come in for an interview? We would like to discuss more with you, your CV. It looks interesting. You know, I was getting, I was shocked at the response I was getting. I thought I was so underqualified. And everyone online is telling me that I can't not get a job after CS50. And here I am getting emails from these company recruiters saying they want to talk to me. I was shocked. I was even sitting one day having a nice afternoon iced coffee and I get a phone call and on the line is a guy who is the head of IT at a fairly large startup here in Tel Aviv. And he says something on the lines, I got a couple of technical questions to ask you. And if you can answer them, then maybe we can be in touch about discussing this position further with you. So he asked me a bunch of questions. A lot of the answers I honestly did not know. A lot of them I did know. And it just happened to me that, I, that during that time, I was finishing my final project for CS50. And my project involved implementing a fairly complicated API. And by fairly complicated, I don't mean it was super complicated, but in relation to the courses APIs that they teach, it was slightly more complicated. It involved authentication, which was not covered in the course. And I had to find out how to do all that on my own. He was very impressed that I knew how to do all those things. Now he did ask me other questions like, can you, uh, what happens when you click print on your computer and the paper comes out out of the printer? 
what happens like you know in terms of the net at the network level and i honestly cannot explain that so when we hung up the phone i feel like wow i don't think these guys are gonna call me back like i maybe answered correctly maybe 75 percent of the questions um and i wasn't feeling great about the 25 that i missed i felt like they were fairly important questions that i should have known right but i didn't and hold and behold i get an email like five days later the hr lady from their company wants to talk to me via you know she wants to have a zoom meeting and i was so excited i was like wow I've got to catch up with my, I've got to catch up with my technical stuff. She's probably gonna ask me all this technical stuff. And none of the questions that she asked me had to do with technical stuff. All the questions had to do more with like lifestyle and character. And I believe the reason I didn't get that job is because she asked me, how come if you've worked at your previous place for 10 years and you've had a successful career as a video producer, why in the world would you want to go into IT now? So I explained to her, look, I had a bit of a work accident. Um, I can't really do my job anymore. I can't work in the field for 10 hours a day outdoors in the heat. I don't, I just don't have the physical endurance for that anymore. And to be honest, I don't think she liked that answer. Um, she might've seen me as a liability or so. So I think that's the reason why I didn't get the job and hold and behold to my surprise. It had nothing to do with not knowing certain technical things. Like there is like a base of technical stuff that you need to know. And like, as long as you know it, if you know 80% of it, I think that's good enough. Most of the jobs actually will teach you how to do your job. So it's not like you need to know everything. And from this interview, I found out this whole field within computer science having to do with IT and DevOps, CICD, that I would have never found out about had I not applied for these jobs. Had I just stayed at home and read what everyone else is saying, on CS50 that you can't get a job, blah, blah, blah. I would have never found out my main takeaway from this whole thing, which was I need to specialize. I need to figure out what part of computer science I want to specialize in and that I want to go into. And that's what I need to pursue. You know, no one learns all of computer science. Computer science is more or less like medicine. There's a lot of different types of doctors out there. The same way there's a lot of different coders and programmers and computer scientists out there. It's a very massive industry. It also made me realize that I cannot go out there and apply for full stack developing jobs. Like a lot of the people in CS50 are saying, like that's just not possible. Like in my area, I feel like there's a massive competition going on. It's, it's like a symbol of like status that you're a full stack developer in such and such company. There's a lot of competition in my area and I don't think I can get a job when I'm competing against all these other sharks that have a lot of experience. They've been coding since age five. You know, like a lot of these guys are like really literally sharks and I don't, I don't feel very confident that I can get a job as a full stack or front end or back end. I don't even want to go there because I know that's where a lot of, most of the competition is. Instead, I found out that I need to focus on IT and that in IT, they'll teach you how to do your job. And in IT, they value the fact that I have a experience in project management. I, they're actually looking for guys like that. Even if their technical stuff is not 100%, they don't really care about the technical stuff. They want to make sure that you know how to work with people. And now I know that I need to focus my efforts and my future learning towards getting my jobs in IT. So actually at the moment now, I have another uh, interview in about two weeks from now. I'm going to post future videos. I'm probably going to repackage the information from this video into another video as well, explain more of like a step to step what to do in order to get a job after CS50. I just wanted to put this video out there because I see a lot of comments recently on the channel of people struggling with this question. So I want to give you my preliminary assessment on the issue. And my preliminary assessment is start applying for jobs. Even if you are, even if you're just on week four, week five, whatever it is uh, for the first four weeks, focus on the learning. But after week five, when you start to get the hang of it, you need to put together a little CV and start sending it out. By the time you actually hear back from these people, odds are you'll already have finished the course and you're ready to start interviewing. You will be surprised with the results. I bet you guys, there's going to be someone out there. I hope it's me as well that can get a job right after CS50 without having to take all these additional courses, without getting lost and getting information overload and having to spend much time, much effort, money, etc. and all the things. Just focus on getting a job and move on with your life. So I have another video on my channel. Look below for the link where I'm going to post my entire interview with the HR lady. So you see, I'm going to, I comment on it. So you see, you can learn more or less what's to say and what not to say for your interview and you learn from my mistakes. And I'm also going to post a future video with updates on how it goes in the futures, future interviews. And hopefully when I get a job, I'll make a video about that too so you guys can see exactly every single step that i've taken from cs50 from zero at age 31 to get a job in high tech i hope you guys are well i hope you keep learning just remember if you guys have any doubts in your mind push those doubts away you guys can do it you guys can get a job you guys can learn how to code you guys are i'm just trying to empower you guys to know that everything you want to accomplish you can do all the best guys see you in the next video